Will GLP-1 compounds go away once the shortage is over? Here's everything that you need to know. Hey everybody, it's Allie. I'm on a fantabulous weight loss journey and hopefully you'll come along for the ride. So I see this question a lot. People who have turned to compounding pharmacies through telehealth companies to get their GLP-1 medications, trisepatide and semaglutide, and they are concerned because now the manufacturers of these GLP-1 medications are saying that they are going to be able to alleviate the shortage starting next year, 2025. So, I completely understand where this concern is coming from. And I also know that there are a lot of people that are completely new to compounding pharmacies. So let's, let's get all of the facts straight so that we can ease your anxiety about this. Um, compounding pharmacies are not a new thing. They have been around for a very, very, very long time. And it's because even though manufacturers of medications, all kinds of medications, have patents on their prescriptions, there are many instances where those active ingredients either need to be combined with another medication um, for the patient, for you know whatever their diagnostic purpose is, or there are certain ingredients that the patient is allergic to. So in order to get that medication, they have to go through a compounding pharmacy. So our, our, our blah, 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 if I could talk, that would be fantastic. Are compounding pharmacies going to go away once the shortage is over? No. Compounding pharmacies are here to stay. They will continue to do what they've already been doing, which is create a compound of the active ingredient in these medications, right? Semaglutide, trisepatide, and combine it with something else. So um, most of the compounding pharmacies are using a B vitamin, um, but you know, many of them have a variety of what they add to the medication so that they're not infringing on the patent that these um, drug companies still hold. And they still hold that patent for quite a few years. So I know that people are concerned, many of whom who either went to compound because their insurance wouldn't cover name brand, or they went to compound during the shortage and they freak out and they're like, oh my gosh, if, if it's not in shortage, is the compound still going to be available? And the answer is yes. So like I said, compounding, not a new thing. It's been around forever. Um, and they will continue to make compounds because like I said, there are quite a few people who have allergic reactions to the name brand medication and these compounding pharmacies can accommodate those people. And that happens with any medication and they will continue to do that. So no reason to panic. I know that that's something that um, really scares a lot of people, right? Mostly because their insurance didn't cover these medications. Um, a lot of people are moving to compounded medication for maintenance because insurance does not cover uh, maintenance do dosing, especially if you are someone who got on ZepBound or potentially Wagovi for weight loss specifically. Once you reach your goal weight, your insurance company may not cover it anymore. However, make sure you go watch my maintenance video because all of the information that I'm seeing and we're still waiting for a maintenance study to come out. But all of the information that I'm seeing where people are hugely successful at keeping the weight off, a lot of what it has to do with is titrating down in dose and staying on a maintenance dose for anywhere to six months to at least a year. So having 
that compound pharmacy to fall back on it is going to be vital, um, especially if you're somebody who got on these medications for weight loss. So definitely be checking out your options, have a backup plan. Some insurance companies do cover maintenance, but they only cover it for a certain amount of time. Again, it's gonna depend on um, your diagnosis code that was entered to get you on the medication. So don't, don't be caught off guard, especially if you're close to your goal weight, have a backup plan for maintenance and, and be ready um, to go with that plan if your insurance company pulls the rug out from underneath you. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe. I have a ton of very helpful videos, super informative, lots of information about side effects, titration, what to eat, how to deal with side effects. So go check those out. I also keep people updated on the shortage situation. So if that's important to you, definitely subscribe so that you can get those updates. And if you're looking for a positive only support group, I've got you covered. Don't worry, link is in the description box below. And as always, be kind, rewind.